Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, I just briefly wanted to go over something that has been on my mind. Uh, if you didn't know, a few days ago it was trans Transgender Day of Visibility. And this is a special day because it's just, it's a day for trans people to celebrate life. You know, taking a step forward to being visible and feeling safe and being okay with being trans and being proud of being transgender. You do not have to be visible if you do not want to, but I think this is a great day to make the choice to be visible and be proud of it and have it just start becoming more and more acceptable. So on that note, I couldn't help but notice some social media things that were going on. I saw a lot of support, I received a lot of support from trans people, from cisgender people, people that were in my own life that have no connection to the LGBT community at all. I was really, really thankful for all the positive support that I received and saw. Um, the thing that was kind of disheartening is that I noticed that any negativity that I did see that day was coming from within the trans community. It felt disheartening because, you know, your community is supposed to be your safe place and it just creates a genuine a genuine fear that you're going to be attacked by your own community and that just is not it's not a good thing because where is your safe place and we all have to remember that we're on the same team we need to support each other and the biggest argument came down to that the transgender individuals that are represented in the media are not very diverse and they have privilege and they're beautiful and amazingly good looking and as much as I want to like be jealous of them because they are beautiful and amazingly good looking. As much as I want to, <laughs> as much as I want to bring down this guy and that guy because they have the perfect facial hair or their muscles are amazing and they pass 100% all the time. The the matter of the fact is that we are on the same team and they are our trans brothers and sisters and we have to work together. And if we can't do that, then how do we expect support from other people? And I just think that we're pointing fingers at the wrong people. We are all on the same team. If we want to point fingers at anybody, it's the fact that the media only wants to, you know, put out these certain images of what trans looks like. I do agree that the representation of transgender individuals is not very diverse. I agree that it needs a lot of work and there's a lot of steps to be taken, but I also think that we need to be the change that we want to see, we need to be the visibility that we want to see. And the best step to doing that is not to be calling people out in our own community, but taking steps forward yourself to advocate for a more diverse representation. I feel like there's a lot of trans on trans shaming right now, whether it's how whatever a person looks like. I agree, you know, I am a white guy, a white trans male who has privilege for being, for just being white, uh, for passing as male most of the time, I don't always, um, I have access to hormones and I've had surgery, however, you know, I, I have also worked really hard to get where I'm at, everybody's journey is different, so from the outside someone could probably bash on me because I like to, I like to work out, I, I have I've had top surgery, um, I've, I'm on hormones, I pass most of the time, and, but, you know, it wasn't easy for me, I don't, I think it all comes down to, we are all, we all started with one step out of the closet, and the beginning of our journeys are what matters, and we all just have to step forward together in order to get the representation, representation that we need, in order to get the correct health care that we need, and the acceptance that we need. So on that note, we really need to support each other, and it just is like, oh, I see comments about um, we need representation of what trans really looks like, and it's just like, what does trans really look like? Are these these men, these beautiful men and women that are represented, they are still trans. It is it is a very small minority of what trans looks like, but they are trans, so it's almost like you're saying they aren't trans enough because they are so cisgender looking and so it's just like so what what does trans look like is this trans enough is this trans enough is this trans enough is this trans enough is this too trans enough what is trans enough point is it doesn't matter what you look like 
I'm still trans. These guys are still trans. And they're doing what they can to advocate. They're doing their type of activism. Not everyone is going to be on magazine covers. And magazine covers are not all there is to activism. But it does create conversation. It does put us out there to some extent. Um, and we shouldn't, we shouldn't bring them down for that. If we really want to make a change, we need to take action and we need to work together. It doesn't matter if you have muscles or if you don't have muscles. It, we just need to stop shaming each other. <laughs> you are unique and that is completely okay. Being on a magazine cover is, it's awesome, but it's not necessary and it's not a bad thing either. Privilege is a, is a real thing, but we're calling out the wrong people. We really, really need to support each other. I can't even express how thankful I am for all of the positive support that I have ever received from the trans community. And I just really, 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 really want to keep that going because without it, it is just like, we get so much negativity already from the outside world that it's, it's very much needed. And uh, yeah, that is it. I'm sweaty because I just went for a run. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Keep going and peace out. I'll see you next time.